All right, folks, welcome back to another Subnautica video. So let's get inside. Because uh, it's cold. Uh, Excuse me. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Maybe I can find clues about Sam here. Signal lost. Plant pot. There's a plant pot. There's a little plant pot. Or plant pot. pot. Scan one of those. Look. Oh, that is satisfying. Go around, go around. Do the loop, loop. Go around. Wow. Ain't it just so amazing? Let's do the bed and then we'll do the PDA on the desk. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work. And I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Hmm. Sam really got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. Ooh. All right, another PDA. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must David. say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together. We're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. That is strange. Status report. Two active human life forms detected. Unorthodox, uh, not allowed habitat construction. Yep. Observe, maybe intervene. Want to take a drink of soda? Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. <laughs> I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. In progress. Do we um uh, hear his one data log talking about how mad he is at birds? I think we did. Test override module. Oh, this might be it. Oh wait, no. It is recommended that training be completed while the tower is in test mode. Test mode is full of functional simulated version of the live mode. In the test mode, all communication from the tower, including distress signals, security alerts, and spy missions, will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the test override module in the diagnostic port, and then the activated uh, test mode command. So we need the test override module port. Access code. It is cold. How? Not good. Flower. Give me warmth. I don't even know why they look at us. Uh, 
Ow. Ow. You have weak legs. Weak legs. No, I'm kidding. This could be some actual serious, uh... Balls. So we got everything in here? Ah, I knew. Boom, look at him. Oh, dude. With a creepy smile. Looks like a horror. Horror type monster. Right here. Coolest guy out of all of them. Fred. Fred. IT. Maintenance. Reports to the boss. Yep. Alright, that's everything. Oh yeah, we have a picture of the uh, place. So what's now back on the chopping block? Let's see. Let's get to a sea truck. I think that's what I'll ne do next. We'll get to our sea truck. Can I get it from this way? I can. I'll just have to take a fall. I ouch. Some water. Do I need a batter? I'll take a batter. And some food. Come here. Ah, a little spot to get resources. Uh, I don't know how much gold we need. We're gonna have... Uh, uh. Hey! Hey! It's always hard to scan them. Yay! Scan them. The scribe, Sky Ray, has a bird-like head, feathered wings, which enable it to fly. Sky rays are commonly found circling floating structures and rarely venture out far to sea. They will perch on any dry land, but are prone to flee on approach. Wings. Although its wings give it some resemblance to the airborne rays in 4546B, analysis show no greater genetic overlap with those species than planetary average. In fact, the sky ray appears to have split off the evolutionary tree much earlier than most. Diet. Largely seed based, sky, sky rays have not been observed. Diving for food, which implies they rely on land based plants for survival. Presence may indicate nearby things of land. Is it just me, or did the game look very, very cool all of a sudden? Sulfur. How much sulfur do I have? Let's do grab another one. Okay, awesome. Maybe I should do two more. I don't know. Let's get back to the sea truck. Flock of fishes right there. Ah, oh, I see. This is where you're supposed to... Let me up! Don't put invisible walls where you try to make stairs. Don't you go back on your word. Delta station. So we can go to the pilot's last location. Because if you remember we saw the mech lady or whatever. The prawn suit to lay tie. Let's drink these crappy uh, water bottles. Du -du -du -du. Ouch. Pick up snow. I got snow on my hands. Did we even check this out last time? Yeah, we did. I think. Let me up! He does not care about a snowball. Why would he? Taking a bunch of damage. I'm speedrunning. I'm speedrunning. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be able to regain the HP anyways. Uh, why don't we explore? T. You do not trust Altera. No. Neither do you. But your sister was Altera. My sister was my sister. She worked for Altera. All my people do not perceive a difference. 
We are what we work for. Well, Sam wasn't. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings, like I knew they'd do to mine. I tried to warn her, and she was stubborn, just like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier, faster, way less play by the rules. Was Sam working in the best interest of Altera? Yes, but they definitely didn't think so. We believe that individuals may operate in the best interest of the collective, or against the best interest of the collective. There is no in-between to us. So you always saw eye to eye on absolutely everything with your network? No. I sense there is more to this story. And more to your sister's story as well. That's fine. Change the subject. We'll come back to it later. I forgot about we have Alan. No. Oh god. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh goodness. Hold on a second. Sorry guys. I hate it when the computer messes up. Sometimes the keyboard or the mouse might mess up, or blah blah blah. Very annoying. Uh, out of all the a lot of a lot of creatures in the game, those I don't mind that much. They act like they're all big, mean, and tough, but in reality they're just they're like me. Here we go. <coughs> So we have our ain't um architect artifact. I'm saying that right. Uh, excuse me. Stinky. I mean some cheez its So what? Here we go. What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain oh, some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. We will help you all. Uh, water analysis station. Um, research seemed to determine the chemical components of the properties of the water. Testing for levels car, bacterium. Experimental application of light, heat, and heat chemical compounds via the core at the center of the storage container. Specto spectoscopic analysis. If I'm saying that right. So, you see how just the... Look, you see how they're giving me stuff now? Thank you so much. Uh, they're giving me stuff because now they like me on the planet. They all know me, and they're just like, okay, this person is pretty cool. Which is pretty awesome. And if you ping stuff in the top right, like say what you need, then if there's resources around, they'll uh, grab some for you. Like how I'm saying silver, because silver is so tedious to get, in my opinion. Uh, they don't mind helping you out. They're just like, you know what? I hope you are. Yoink. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What? What do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings, each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, 
a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. That's not good. Eat them. Eat them all. Oh, they're pretty good, not gonna lie. We've been here, haven't we? No, we haven't. Ah, jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares, and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kind of cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. Heh. <laughs> A jukebox track unlocked. Alright. Not good. Nothing we needed. I guess this little waypoint right here is pointing to the um, Delta Dock. It's just way too dark just to see anything. If only we could go to bed. I need to go to bed. Um. What do I feel like doing? That seems pretty good. Let me put all big water in here. Good. Titanium, we have more of that. Uh, just add everything in here. Yeah, I forgot we don't even have a bed or nothing. Nothing seems too crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that man is dead. I didn't do it. it wasn't me. Wasn't my. I'm hoping it. F hoping. Wait, what? What am I saying? I wanted it to be daytime so I can actually gosh turn, uh. See, of course, where I'm going. And also, there's something that's not really good that's gonna be in front of us. I do have a debt module, right? No, I don't. Vehicle upgrades. How do I. Do I just make that? Plasteel ingot and enameled glass? Oh, I do. How do we make enameled glass and plasteel ingot? Plasteel ingot, lithium, of course, right? Yep, lithium. We need titanium. And then what about enameled glass? Diamonds. Well, we know where to go for that. So let's go uh, get our resources. Because it's night time and we can't just sit here and do nothing, can we? Alright, it might actually be turning day. Not might actually. It is turning day. Lollipop. Lollipop. I hit another animal. I am just a monster, ain't I? It is so dark. Get my way, Boomerang.
Dark. There should be some diamonds into the Delta Dock. Like in some of the crevices and stuff. Not, not down there. Not that type of crevice. All right, we're near the dock. This type of crevice. Okay, he's right there, just spinning around. Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. Hmm. Can I stay right here while it erupts? Oh wait, duh. I remember this location. What is this? Creature egg. Titanium. I do need actually titanium. Random peeper. My bad. Get it this out of here. Aspire. Maze put. Uh, exposure to it might concern health problems. I guess I'll look for some more silver. Give me one more piece and then I'll stop hitting these silver veins, whatever. I thought there'd be more. Well, it's daytime now, so I don't gotta gosh turn, uh... Oh, right here. Some lead! This time I actually need lead. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. But I'm getting out of here. Now we can actually see, so... Grab one. Make a wiring kit. Cook up some peepers. Wiring kit in here. Yay! Now we go in the direction of the light high there's danger that way but I guess I'll um I know I'm looking at them like if I'm worried or something but it's more like I'm searching for something Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go attack some peepers. I think he's chasing me. I couldn't care less. Detecting stern of an astronautical salt trans go vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Inoperative. Inoperative. I guess we're in the clear. Warning. Maximum damage. Oh, no. Damage imminent. Okay, okay. Whoa. I thought I saw a bad guy. That wasn't one of these folks. 
Okay. I'm being paranoid. We go this way. Yeah, so you see a giant ship fell here. It seemed like a long, long time ago. And they didn't even say all ter or terror or whatever. All terror. There we go. So we will actually leave it right here. Um, oh, we'll explore just for a second. Metal salvage. New fishies. I'll scan the fishies soon. Ooh, my tummy is, does not feel good right now. Ooh, titanium ingrate. Mmm, delicious. Top wire, I love that. We need a laser cutter. Which we do not have one. Some food, some good stuff. Not buy it. Uh, I can only do repairs in spurts. That's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they're all going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. The ice shelf is probably a bit unstable and they got disoriented or something. To borrow from Diana. Orion's belt, thermocouplings, are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. <sighs> but it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't mind all my questions. I love hearing her voice. Her face lights up, and she's got the most expressive eyebrows. They're practically acrobats. The way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way I look at my grandmother's domades. The woman never sits down, though. She told me that she used to do decathlon in college, and I can believe it. She's like a bouncy ball, just all over the place. She makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help. Hmm. I should do something nice for her. She's always helping everyone else. I wish I had a fraction of her energy. <laughs> well, now we get to learn more lore about a different crew. Thank you, thank you very much. We need so much laser cutter to everything. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. I thought I was going to cut off the video, but I'm just like, you know what? Let's. I do not appreciate that voice. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff, and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped go. with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos, how to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with, and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Kalimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest drawl. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set a picnic there and said, I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. 
There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part, though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricators. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes. But the craziest part? He managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. Cool. We're learning more about the uh, cruise ship. Of crew, we do not know. There's more to explore on the ship. Well, I'll leave it for next time. So, what did we do this episode? We discovered the ship. We decided to learn more about just lore in general. Uh, we need plast two enameled glass and a plasto ingot. So, we go down. And because we have the ingots, we can go get some plasto ingot. will be no problem. The enameled glass. We have glass. A diamond's gonna be the hardest part. Not really the hardest part, probably. It's probably all around us. We'd have to go find it. Um There isn't really anything else I can think about that we did and that was too crazy. But yeah, that is the end of the episode, you guys. Have a great day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And he's chasing a fish. Bye bye y'all.